By the end of this video, you should be able to create a countdown timer in Premiere Pro and add it to a video in Camtasia 2020. Hi, my name is David, and if you get value from this video, kindly consider subscribing. Now, I'll take you step by step, and the first step is creating our countdown timer in Premiere Pro. It's simple and easy and really depends on what you want. The reason why I'm going to be doing this inside Premiere Pro is because it takes more time to do it inside Camtasia. You can decide to buy the Camtasia asset, uh, that is the countdown timer, uh, but I'll make sure if you need the countdown timers, I can provide links in the description below. That is, if you need, you can just tell me uh, how long you need the timer to be and, and I'll create that for you. So I'm inside Premiere Pro. Now, once we create the timer, we'll need to export it with a transparent background. So I'll also show you how you do that inside Premiere Pro. Please note, the size can get quite big. So that's out of the way. And finally, I'll show you how you can add your countdown timer to a video inside Camtasia 2020. So that out of the way, let's begin. I'm inside Premiere Pro, and basically this is just the interface that you get inside Premiere Pro. All I need to do right now is just come to this particular option here, create a transparent background, and let's say my video inside Camtasia is going to be uh, 1920 by 1080, that is uh, the dimensions, and then a frame rate of 30 frames per second. I'll just leave the pixel ratio as a square pixel, just click OK. Once I click OK, you'll get a new asset here. Let's just uh, create a new sequence from that particular clip. And here we have it. This is a transparent video. So what we now need to do is add an effect. Now, the effect that we need to add to our transparent video here uh, is called the time code effect. Just click on effects. And if you cannot see effects here, just come up to the window and click on effects. If I click it out, uh, then it might disappear. Or if I close this uh, panel out, it will disappear. But if I come back to window, uh, effects, it's going to come back on. So what I need to search for is the time code effect. Time code, and it's under video. I'll just, uh, just write it out, time code. Just hold it, drag it onto your video. Now, once you drag it onto your video, you'll see uh, the time code appear. So I'll just try and pull this down so that everything is clear. So here's our time code. Our time code looks good uh, and it's pretty basic. Uh, so just click on this. And once you click on this, you'll need to click on the effects control. Now, once you click on the effects control, you can notice there is a particular like dot here, a huge dot. Just uh, click on the field symbol. It's going to take care of that. So it's going to disappear. Now, the format is OK. The time code source is uh, for the media below here if you had any media. But since we don't have any media, let's just click on generate so that this particular time code begins at 000. So let's just click on generate. And there we have it. It's 000. So uh, that's out of the way. The next section is the time display. Now, the time display is OK right now because if it was in 30 second drop frame, a comma replaces, uh, that is a semicolon replaces the colon. But we want time to be in a colon, so we'll click on 30 non-drop frame. Now, that's out of the way. But uh, what you'll notice is that if you do this, this is the hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds, or frames if I'm not mistaken. So uh, let's say you want to do uh, a coming up next in like five seconds, uh, like section you want to reduce this particular uh, piece so that that is what people see. So what you need to do here, you need to crop. So to crop this particular time, then you'll just come uh, back to the effects tab here and then just uh, type out crop. And I can just scroll down slightly and under the video effects transform, we get the crop. So just hold it, add it to the transparent video and in under the effects, you're going to get the effect of crop. If I scroll down, we'll see what we have here. Now, if I click on crop here, here we have it. You can already see some blue ticks here. Now, you can use this and adjust accordingly. Let's say we just need to get like, uh, this is the minutes, uh, the hours, minutes, 
seconds let's say we want to do away with the hours just come up here slowly there we go there we have it and then let's take care of the milliseconds or the frames there we go now that looks pretty good you can actually even just bring this up to there so that's a time code now if i scroll or scrub the timeline you'll notice one two three four it's a four uh, second clip uh, or five second uh, more or less it looks pretty good and basically we are almost done with our particular uh, a countdown timer but now for it to be a countdown let's just pull this up for it to be a countdown we'll need to nest this particular transparent video so let's just right click on it nest you can name it whatever name that you want uh, to use just click ok and it's a nested media now if i right click on it again i'll do uh, the speed and duration and then do a reverse speed once i do a reverse speed for the five second duration it's going to count down from five four three two one okay now if we play this three two one zero so there we have it that's our countdown timer so the next thing then uh, and that is the next step it is to export or render out uh, this particular uh, timer in a transparent background so what do we need to do we'll need to come to file export or even when this particular sequence is selected press on control m that is uh, media and uh, once we have that uh, you'll see this particular uh, timer here or countdown timer and you can see it as you scroll through so what we need to do here is we need to come to this particular section now we need to use uh, one of these particular presets so let's say we do apple prores 444 you'll notice that this has become slightly dark now what i've noticed from all this is that the apple prores that doesn't affect this particular color or even colors in this is apple prores 4444xq so that's what i'm going to use that's the video codec i'm going to use next select the output name countdown timer let's say five sec just click on save and then un untick the audio since there's no audio and then an important part that you need to focus on is this particular section now the video codec we've selected that uh, this is what we want to use next up scroll down uh, we need now to select uh, this particular depth the depth should be 16 bpc plus alpha you can also use 8 bpc plus alpha but i'm going to use 8 bpc plus alpha now this gives this particular video transparency that is where it has plus alpha and camtasia 2020 now supports alpha channels which is pretty awesome you can add lower third graphics from premiere pro inside camtasia so i'll just click on 16 bpc plus alpha and once i do that i'll just now need to render this particular clip remember do not check render at maximum depth don't do that uh, and once you're satisfied uh, you can just click on export please note that this file might end up being a very big file so you can bear with it uh, but just out of the way get to know that this file gets pretty big so let's just click on export and it's done your video was exported let's go to a folder and in our folder we have a new mov file so here is the mov file and i'll just right click open with let's say vlc there is a countdown timer playing right here so what we need now is to import that particular timer inside camtasia so it's an mov apple prores uh, media so let's just click on import media and i'm just going to get uh, an image and the clip just click on open and once you're here let's just add this clip uh, that is the image down here because a countdown timer is good for maybe a launch of something uh, a tutorial or a step that's coming up so now once we have our image it's a five second uh, image right here we can just add our countdown timer 
So let's just add it and there we have the countdown timer. Now, as you notice, it's a transparent video. That's how you export a transparent video from Premiere Pro to use inside Camtasia. So inside Camtasia, you can do all the things that you want. You can crop it in so that you try and uh, minimize what you hold on to. Just bring it somewhere there or even remove that particular section so that you can just remain with the particular number. And then you can just put the number where you want it. Let's just change this. You can scale it to how you want it to be. Really depends on what you want to do with it. Let's say you want it to be somewhere there. So uh, let's just crop it in a little bit, just slightly. I can just pull uh, this particular section down and this one uh, so that we can see uh, what we're working on. Let's just move it here. There we go. There we go. There we go. So uh, click on the mouse and then let's add it here. So if I play it, three, two, one, two, and the race begins. So basically, that's a step-by-step -step tutorial of how you can create a countdown timer inside Premiere Pro. And you can also do create lower third graphics inside Premiere Pro or other motion graphics inside Premiere Pro. And then export the video as a transparent video so that you can use it or add it to a video inside Camtasia. Now, my wish and hope is that Camtasia are going to make it possible for people to create countdown timers super easily inside Camtasia without having to add callouts or numbers or whatever or annotations to create this. It's pretty hectic when you are doing maybe let's say a video that requires uh, a countdown, cooking shows, games and all that. So I hope that they do add that to this. But basically, if you're even hiring somebody to do these particular countdown timers for you, then that is how you actually create countdown timers export as a transparent background and import to your uh, video in Camtasia 2020. I hope this video has been of value to anyone that's interested in anything of this sort, uh, working with Premiere profiles inside Camtasia. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial.